Hey YouTube, this is College Pipe Professor coming at you. I'm redoing this video. I attempted to upload it and realized it was too long. I didn't want it to be that long. Essentially what I wanted to do was to do a response to Jay and to my monk vlog about the issue of tobacco and tobacco rights. For those of you who don't know, I teach American government at the local college here. I've been involved in government ever since I was probably in middle school. You know, I remember being in middle school and my civics teacher asking me who was Jimmy Carter's national security advisor. Here I am in eighth grade and I raise my hand and say it's Big New Brzezinski. <laughs> um, from that point I knew that I was interested in American government. It makes me an American government dork I guess. But since then I have worked for trade association, I have worked in academe, I've also run other people's campaigns, gotten them elected to office, run my own campaign, was elected to my local city council, have written letters to the editor, opinion articles, that sort of thing. And that's not to say that I'm trying to blow my trumpet. What I'm trying to say is and, and show and demonstrate my involvement in trying to make change in government. And our tobacco issue is, is a clear case in point. You know, I'll take you back in history. 56 Americans signed away their lives. They pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor to roll back the tyranny of the British government. And they did it over taxes and the lack of representation in government. Not over something else, but primarily over those issues. And as a result, these gentlemen who had an absolutely zero idea whether what they were talking about would succeed succeeded beyond what they in anticipated we can make a difference I believe we can make a difference but don't for a minute fool yourself and think that um, because government needs the revenue that they're not going to squish out tobacco smoking outright there have been prohibition movements on tobacco throughout American history they will push it out and you say oh but they need the revenue last year Georgia's tax revenue was a almost forty million dollars four zero and a budget of many billions of dollars that's chump change this past legislative session Georgia's state legislature raised taxes on groceries and placed a new tax that had not been there before on anyone with satellite TV service in the state so now those of us with satellite TV coverage will also have to pay a tax there so don't think for a minute that they're only in it to keep the revenue if that revenue goes away they'll find other revenue to make up for it <clears throat> so we shouldn't use that as a reason not to get involved how do you get involved what should you do well there are organizations out there and I know that Jay and others have suggested and I think it's a great idea I think it's a marvelous idea for youtubers to come together and organize write letters to members of Congress that sort of thing to your state legislatures but there's already a group out there fighting for you and that's the cigar rights of America you may not agree with everything that they do. You may not think that everything that they do is 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 um, first class, but you know they're representing your interests. And if you don't represent, if you're not participating, and you're not part of the group, it's going to be hard for you to make change. It's always hard, even for five or ten people, to make change. Cigar Rights of America has tens of thousands of members right now. We can always use more. The CRA is speaking up. <clears throat> both at the federal, state, and local levels for our interests. Have you joined them? Have you contributed to the CRA? Have you attended local CRA meetings? Have you decided to form your own CRA chapter? Have you decided to plug CRA in your YouTube videos? Have you decided to send a small contribution to CRA? Have you gone to the CRA webpage? If the answers to those questions are no, then that ought to tell us a lot as well. That we really need to get more involved in what's going on. The information and the resources are there. The people are there. The executive director, Glenn Loop, with Cigar Rights of America, great guy. He's fighting a single-handed battle. I'll tell you a short, quick story. When I was trying to help with uh, fighting the smoking ordinance in Savannah, what I found troubling and disconcerting at the same time was that the bricks and mortar, some, not all, some of the bricks and mortar tobacconists in Savannah refused to participate in our fight. 
and they cited the fact that they could lose their business license if they kicked up too much of a fuss. They didn't think that it was all that worth getting excited over. Let me tell you that ordinance stamped out and when it passed, which it did, it passed, it prevented all smoking in tobacco retail shops and within the city limits. It prohibited smoking within 10 feet of doors to any business and establishment in Savannah. And the only group that stepped forward that was willing to also fight back hard was the Georgia Restaurant Association and they carved out a short exemption for outdoor patio smoking to still continue. Everything else, including private clubs, like Elks Clubs or anything else, that was stomped out. No ability for any cigar store, cigar retailer, to build a cigar lounge because that was also placed into the legislation. But nobody cared. Nobody was willing to fight it. No one was willing to go down. I went down and spent a lot of my time going down to fight this, and I don't even live in Savannah, to try to deal with this issue and try to mobilize. And we had some people who, who could do it. But folks, we're outgunned. We're out-resourced. And they care more passionately about the issue, they being the anti-tobacco crowd, than we do. And we've got to change that. And so my recommendation is that we work together as a group not only on YouTube but elsewhere to come up with um, means of organizing but to also use utilize the resources that we have. The CRA is, is a good group. You know, it may not be perfect, but no organization is. But I can tell you what we can get if you don't participate. We can get a continued rollback of our civil liberties. We can get a continued rollback of our overall um, right to smoke and I'm the first one to tell you there is no constitutional right for us to smoke but by the same token we do have constitutional rights to private property and when we tell bar owners and restaurants what kinds of activities that they can allow to take place in their establishments we're encroaching on their Fifth Amendment rights to the Constitution so think about those kinds of things as we go forward with this battle, as we go forward with what we want to accomplish. I implore you, join the Cigar Rights of America. Let's pull together what we can do. You can go to Cigar Rights of America on Facebook. At least join their Facebook page if you're not willing to contribute, if you're not willing to sign the membership. I have membership roles here, but you can also do it online as well. Thank you for my rant. I appreciate everybody out there. Let's see what we can do to make this a really good year in 2011 at securing our smoking rights and bring in more people. Talk about it in your, on your YouTube videos. Let's see if we can't raise awareness and use our opportunities and our, and our, and our platform as an opportunity to use outreach and bring more people into, our, into the cause. Partner with others because it's extremely important. This is College Pike Professor saying I'm out of here. See y'all next time.